Boys and girls, welcome to another edition of MR2 Spider for Dummies. This means you. Just kidding. Today we're going to talk about the PCV system and both the 1ZZ engine and the 2ZZ engine. PCV star stands for Positive Crankcase Ventilation. And I'm going to explain how it works. Now we're looking at a 1ZZ in a Toyota MR2 Spider and uh, because of the positioning of this engine in the rear of the car it's almost impossible to see any of the important features of the PCV system. So instead we're going to look at the PCV system in a different car. Now we are looking at the engine in a Toyota Corolla. Um, this is a 1ZZ FE. It is nearly identical, almost exactly the same as the 1ZZ FE that is in the MR2 Spider. The only difference is it's in the front of the car. Now I'm going to point out the PCV system for you. It has two components. It has the PCV line. The PCV line comes out of the PCV valve, which is right on the valve cover, and it feeds into the intake plenum. And the second component is the crankcase breather or crankcase vent line and it comes out of the intake tube and it feeds into the top of the valve cover. So you'll notice I've drawn some arrows on these hoses. What do they mean? Okay, let's suppose that the engine is running and the throttle body is closed. The throttle is closed. The throttle body is right here. So the PCV line goes directly into the intake plenum. The intake plenum with the throttle body with the throttle closed is under vacuum. So the PCV hose will be sucking air out of the valve cover and into the plenum and from there it goes into the cylinders where any excess oil or combustion gases or whatever that is present inside the crankcase has now been sucked through and will go through the uh, cylinders and be combusted one more time. There is about 20 inches of mercury of vacuum which is about 10 psi of vacuum on this plenum when the throttle is closed. And to replace the air that is being sucked out from the PCV line, then this crankcase breather, which is on the outside of the throttle, okay, it's on the outside of the throttle and it's sucking air in through the intake and it will go in to replace the air that has been sucked out from the PCV. So the air is going in a loop. It goes in through the crankcase breather, it comes out through the PCV, and it goes down into the intake plenum, then into the cylinders. Here is another detail that is very important to note. The MAF, or mass airflow sensor, is situated upstream of these PCV components. That means that air comes in through the air filter and it is measured. The amount of air is measured by the MAF sensor which is connected to the ECU and this tells the ECU how much fuel to add to achieve the target air fuel ratio that it needs to achieve. What this means is that the air that is flowing into the crankcase from right here through the crankcase breather and then back out from the PCV and into the intake into the intake plenum is measured by the MAF. So what happens if you get a crack in one of these hoses or if it comes loose? Let's say that the PCV line, the hose, develops a crack right here which is a very common place for it to crack. If that happens then this hose, which is under vacuum, will suck in outside air that goes into the cylinders and it is not measured by the MAF. So in that case, you would get a lean error code on your computer. It would light up the check engine light and uh, this lean error code would be caused 
or check engine light would be caused by this leak in the PCV line. Okay, what happens if the crankcase breather line cracks or comes loose? Well, in that case, whenever the throttle opens, this hose would suck in air that goes into the cylinders and is not measured by the MAF. And in that situation, you would also get a lean error code uh, because of unmetered air going into the cylinders and that gets detected by the O2 sensors which uh, tell the computer that uh, the amount of air is not in balance with the amount of fuel. This covers it for the 1ZZ. Now let's move to the 2ZZ. This 2ZZ engine is out of the car on an engine stand and this makes it easy to see the components of the PCV system. And the situation with the 2ZZ is nearly the same as the 1ZZ. The only difference is that the crankcase breather line, instead of feeding back into the front of the valve cover like it does on the 1ZZ, it feeds back in to the rear of the valve cover right next to the PCV valve. So I've drawn the arrows that show the direction of airflow. The PCV line has the arrows pointing this way, which means that under vacuum, the air flows out of the PCV valve and into the plenum on the other side of the throttle body uh, butterfly. Okay and the crankcase breather is in front of the butterfly so the air is sucked back in to the valve cover to replace the air that is being sucked out through the PCV line. So it is uh, almost exactly the same situation as the 1ZZ. So this covers it for the PCV system and uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments.